Ohio artist Christian Four is making his mark with art supplies normally used by children. Jackie Schaefer of WOSU in Columbus reports for our Canvas art series. So I've always done art um, when I was little, but um, I've also always been really interested in, the, in science and math. I usually come up with ideas that are somewhat masochistic, whether it's like, you know, sewing human hair onto an umbrella or just doing something that's ridiculously like labor intensive, you know, sticking shredded paper back together to form an image or, you know, stacking 20,000 crayons. One Christmas I had been like repackaging like the crayons for my daughter and it just kind of clicked in my head that these were like the perfect shape. I came up with an idea that maybe I could use a mosaic to see if I can get some photorealism out of it. And from that point on, I've been creating these uh, crayon pieces. Initially, I did look into using Crayola crayons uh, for my first piece, and I find that they only made uh, like 128 different colors for the most part. They were expensive, I could buy them, they were a dollar a piece. The material that they were made out of was uh, paraffin wax, so it's um, a wax that's not gonna hold up uh, over time. And then finally, nobody buys light crayons. So when you bought a box of them, everything was dark. Every, every color is important. So I had to make, I had to, to make crayons from scratch. After working on the computer, I'll finally get like what I call an indexed um, photograph, which is a photograph that has a certain number of swatches or colors. And those uh, swatches or colors is what I'll use to cast the batches of crayons. Then it's just a matter of assembling based on the map that I create. And then when it's assembled, uh, I'm able to then uh, flip it around. And at that time, it's usually a little bit of work to fix certain elements, even though everything is usually looks photorealistically correct. There are like elements that you sometimes need to enhance. So I'll pull crayons in and out until it looks or feels right. Even though when you see the pieces in the end, they feel like you're seeing, you're seeing something that feels very photorealistic, the closer you get to it, you realize there's just not that much information. Your brain is actually filling in all that information uh, for the work. I've you know, been working with the crayons uh, for maybe more than a decade now. As long as I'm able to create and have fun as an artist, I think I'll be good. I don't see myself running out of ideas anytime soon. Fascinating artist Christian Four.